Hey guys, welcome to Fishing Planet. My name is Lady. Today I'm going to show you guys how to set up a proper balance setup for Fishing Planet. So first off, as you guys can see, you've got one, two, three slots uh, in my rock bag. I'm currently having a triple case with me. So whenever you go to a lake, of course you need to bring your gear with you. And I am going to do three setups, two uh, floating, one uh, lure fishing, and uh, I will go through all the details. Make sure that you have this one and details popped out so we can actually see what is going on in here. So first off, Telefloat 650. This is not the starting rod. This is a rod that uh, I suggest to purchase when you're a bit higher up. Here we can see... Um, some info, durability, length, line weight, action, pieces and guides. And the stuff that we need to look at is line weight. Here it says 1 to 2.67 kilograms. That means that always with a proper setup, uh, it consists out of three chains, so to say. It is rod, reel, line. And our strongest link out of those three has to be the rod. Um, if we do not have our rod the strongest link, in this uh, in the setup what will happen is when you get a snack or you get a very uh, decent fighting fish on uh, what might be the case is that instead of your line breaking or instead of your reel breaking your rod will break and of course rod and reels are the most expensive to replace them so in order to not let that happen we check the line weight now do note that this does not mean the strength of the line it actually just means the amount of line in weight that you can put on a rod before the rod starts to break so 2.67 kilograms so have, let's have a look at our gear right here so i got an inspire cost 2000 and what we need to look at is the max drag on it so this one has a max rack of 1.6 kilogram. Mini spin 1200 has a max rack of 1.55. A Prima 2500 has a max rack of 4. And a Wing Cost 2500 has a max rack of 2.9 kilograms. So what we are going to do is make sure that we put a reel on that is below this number but not too low. So as we can see 2.9 is too high. 4 0.0 kilograms is too high. 1.55 kilograms is below 2.67. However, we also got 1.6. So we are taking that 1.6 on it, and here we go. So now it says next to the details of our tariff flow, it also gives us the details of the inspire cost. So durability ratio, recovery capacity, um, max drag, ball bearings, weight, and if the drag is front or uh, behind. Uh, here, like I said, max drag is what is most important. So a third chain in the setup is line. And here at line you look at test. And this gives the actual strength of line. How much weight can you put on it before it starts to wear and before it starts to break. 1.4 kilogram is mono open 18, which is below the 1.6 kilogram max drag of the reel. And of course, we are looking for a number that is below this 1.6. So, mono open 18 is good. Mono open 25, 3.6 kilograms is way too high, meaning that it would, uh, if we get a snack or whatever, we would either break our rod or break our reel before we start breaking our line. So, let's not do that. 14.5 uh, kilograms also, of course, not a very good thing. Braided 2.5 kilograms also not a good thing. So we are taking line. Now, whenever you apply line to it, you get this pop-up with just the line length. And you get a scissor icon that you can drag left and right. If you drag it all the way to the left, it will put the minimum amount of line on it which in this particular case would be 15 centimeters. Of course, we do not want to fish with only 15 centimeters of line. So what you want to do is drag the scissor icon all the way to the right. And here it will show you the maximum amount of centimeters in line that you can put on it, 111. Now, of course, there I already got another 111 on. So instead of Picking that one, we are taking this one, and again, do not click cut, but first drag this all the way to the right. 
and only then do we click cut. So now we got our raw, our reel and our line set up and with our line being the weakest link, whenever we get a snack, whenever we get a fish on that is just too heavy, it is the line that breaks and not the rod and not the reel. So next up, uh, this is a floating rod, so of course we need something on it. Like, uh, say we want to go off to penfish, uh, you can do either a slim or an oval bobber, let's go with an oval bobber, hook not too big for all. And then here we go to the bait. Now, this is something that you need to look at as well. Our bobber is oval. Uh, I'll put it back in here for a second. Here it says max floating weight, and it does not give it, but if you click on the eye, you get an, uh, a nice uh, pop out. Here it says max floating weight medium. Now, if we go to baits in home, thank you. It says we, uh, weight, for instance, small cup weight, medium to heavy. So that means that we cannot put it on. Click. And I think we actually already received a message. Bait is too heavy for the bobber and it will sink. So either we need to swap bobbers, go with chubby bobber, or we need to put on a different type of bait. Uh, minnows, medium to heavy. Here, bread, for instance, is light. So we can put bread on and it will all be set. Um, here you can actually see that now our one is turned green. That means that the rod is completely set up. Two and three are still shown in white and that is because we have not put anything in two and three yet. So let's move on to that. Back again. This time I go with a Nero 390 which has a line weight of 5.5 kg. This is our... You can also double click by the way. This is actually the one that I'm using for float fishing in uh, New York, going after walleye, going after chain pickerel, uh, northern pike. This is uh, set up the heaviest that I, well, somewhat of the heaviest that I can get at level 17. Actually, not entirely true. I think you can get this one at level 11. Anyways, so again, we want to find a reel that comes close to this number, 5.5 kilograms, but does not, does not exceed it. In this case, that will be pretty much 2500. So we're going to put that one on, then we go towards the line. Here it has max rack of 4.0 kilogram, so we can definitely put mono 0.25 on it, which has attached to 3.6 kilogram. Now what will happen if we put two, uh, a line on it that is too heavy? Like here we've got X-Series mono 0.5 millimeters, I got it through uh, an achievement that I completed. If we put this one on, we already get a message. Line is too strong for the rod. There is a risk of damage. So do not, whenever you see a message like that, do not put that one on. So here again, a 4.0 drag. And then I am going to put Mono 0.25 millimeter line on. Here it says 100. I've got one that is close to 100. 94. That will do. We'll just put all of that on it. Uh, the reason I had a 94 is that I actually had uh, a couple of snacks and whenever you break the line it cuts the line by uh, two centimeters so in total I broke it three times and then of course here we also see that we got a, a bobber icon or a gray out over there so again we put bobber on it this one I want for heavy duty so a chubby bobber and a two odd and then let's put small minnows on it. All right, on to the third. And this one is actually going to be our value spin. Now here we get something different. Uh, here we get lure weight that we have to look at. So this is the amount of weight of lure that this rod can handle. Anything between seven and 21 kilograms. First off though, we have to check line weight again. And here it says 3.5 kilograms. So uh, 1.55 kilograms, not so good. Uh, 2.9 kilograms, however, that is fine. Uh, next up, max rack, 2.9 kilograms. For that, we are going to take a braided line. Uh, do I set it correctly? Yeah, we are indeed going to take a braided line and we can put the entire 150 centimeters on. And here it comes then. So this is a lure fishing rod. And you can already see that this is grayed out, meaning we cannot use this. So that should be your inkling. 
And so if I go here, you see that we get all looking good again. But here it is grayed out, and that is because this is a lure fishing setup. So we need to do some lure fishing. For instance, if we go to jigs and uh, jig hats and jig baits, first off, here I got a 7 gram and then I got a 9 gram. What we need to look at currently is lure bait, 7 to 21 grams, so meaning that both these we can put on. Now, I'm not actually entirely sure. For instance, if I were to put on a casting spoon, 5 gram, we will get a message terminal tackle is too light for the rod, cast will be short. You can fish with it, but you cannot cast out as far as you would like. So therefore, it's not recommended to use anything below this number. Also, if you put something on that is too heavy. Now, I doubt actually I uh, got something that is too heavy for this setup. No, I don't. I don't have something uh, over 21 grams. Uh, however, if we have, you will get the same message, but that's saying that lure is too heavy that the cost would be too short but also that you would have the ability to risk doing damage to your setup so always make sure that your lure weight is between 7 and 21 kilograms now if you do have a jig head that is 21 grams and you put it on that will be okay but then you get a shed or grub or whatever you need to attach to it it's actually this icon do not confuse it for life bait uh, that is actually for artificial bait, for instance, like that. Um, but say this is 20, a jig hat that is 21 grams, and then you still need to add uh, artificial lure to it. That will actually add to the weight of the lure in total, meaning that the moment that you were to add something to this, whether it be a shat or a grub or whatever nymph, uh, you would again get the message that the lure is too heavy. And you need to swap, uh, swap it to a lighter one. So do take note of that. That not only does the jig hat weigh something. But the shat as well. With shats and, and all that kind of stuff. It does not state their weight. However you will receive a message. So just keep that in mind. So when we want to do uh, something like a jig hat. Like I said you first put on the jig hat. Then you put on whatever you desire. Make sure that currently this jig hat is on one odd that here you check the fitting hook on the lure. So this is a 2 to 2 odd. This is 1 or 2 3 odd. Uh, so if I were to have a 4 odd jig hat, this 5 cm grub would not be able to fit on that particular jig hat. You need to get a bigger grub or work with a smaller jig hat. So always keep a lookout for that as well. And for instance this one would be perfect and then here it will also state terminal tackle away is optimal. So that is awesome. <clears throat> now of course if we want to do something different like a casting spoon, uh, it's, we can go to casting spoon and you can uh, double click on it. Uh, I see that they fixed it because back in the day uh, the lure would still remain, uh, jig out would be swapped. But here you can actually also see uh, the weight of a casting spoon and for instance medium spoon also always give weight and never spoons and spinners as well. Make sure that the weight of the set spoon or spinner is within the 7 to 21 grams of this particular rod. If you're using another rod, check if the weight is between the parameters that lower weight of the rod gives you. And that too goes for uh, crankbaits and spinner baits and bullet spinners. So everything has a weight. Make sure that it fits. So that's it guys. Of course here with a casting spoon we do not need something extra like we do with a jig hat. So you just leave that one empty. And uh, that is basically it. That is how you set up a, a balanced setup for uh, uh, your roll and your reel. Now, or, or to go fishing I mean. Now um, as always. Uh, you can of course put a heavier reel on it. it, does not mean that it will break instantly, however it would mean that if you put a reel on it that is heavier or that has a max rack that is higher than the line weight of a rod. What will happen is you cannot uh, exert as much drag onto it, say uh, of course everybody by now should, let's go to long star like for a quickie. So I can uh, show you guys. Come on. Private room, go fishing. 
Three, two, one. Yes, here we are. Awesome. Now, of course, say we were to have a two uh, or a reel on to our setup, uh, that will be actually exceeding the line weight of uh, of our rod. What will happen is that currently you can see in the right corner a uh, pie, sort of slices of, of a pie. That is actually your drag. Now, if you're up the drag, it means you put more force onto it, more power. Also, it means you put more tension. On your setup so whenever you're doing that and in particular when you're doing that with a reel that is actually too heavy for the rod what it means is that you cannot put it out in this particular case five out of six um, you would simply already start breaking your rod or breaking your reel here you guys can see that this particular setup already allows us to put five out of six in uh, in it always make sure that your max drag without exceeding the uh, the stress bars to a right make sure you always uh, have your max drag not at full but always one part one slice behind so in this particular case five out of six sometimes you can also do uh, uh, the pie contains uh, eight sometimes nine sometimes twelve but just make sure that you always leave it a bit like that and do not put it on full because that you will definitely break your line you simply just put too much stress on it all right guys so that is it for how to set up your um, your gear now if you want to know what are the best type of setups let me quickly go to the fishing planet community and there you will find a pinned topic let me show you guys called the uber sheep project what you do click on that link so here in general discussions uber sheep project click on that one click on the spreadsheet it will open up like so and here you can already see all the settings of in this particular case it's the reels now if you look down here you get these are spinning reels then here we get a nice show of a casting reel and then here it says balanced combinations and here you can actually see the type of rod so here for instance uh, Argo of uh, 5 feet 3 inch or the Argo 160 depending if you're playing uh, Imperial or metric system and then you can see what works and here the, the salm, uh, salmon color uh, means that it, uh, included to match level of rods but it's not a recommended setup but for instance the arco 160 would fit very good with a cyclone 4500 or a counselor 3500p or a vbo 3500 and there's also some info behind it make sure to read everything and then of course you also got green ones and yellow ones it, it's all explained within the files uh, if you go to preferred baits etc etc you can here see for instance a unique black crappy uh, if you want to catch that use a float hook size number two with leeches or wax worms uh, give this a go uh, there are a whole more stuff underneath for instance you can go click on taxes and here you can see the peak times uh, they are more variable and they fluctuate but they're still like say uh, on a partly or a sunny cloudy day overcast the day between five and eight you have a chance of catching a uh, trophy bluegill more than outside of these hours you can still catch them but here it means that it is a bit a higher chance and well it goes for all the states so just uh, do stuff like that give this a look do not forget to bookmark it this is being updated the entire time by players from the community uh, deconstructors is one who is uh, who's leading it so make sure uh, to give this file a look uh, but as always uh, go to balanced combinations and uh, the tab in uh, below it's the third tab of the sheet and here you'll find out everything that makes you put uh, a very balanced setup without the risk of having your gear uh, broken. 
all right guys so that's it for tonight i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm sorry for getting a bit technical and for having a 20 minute video and not even catching any fish well i did catch that spot of bass but uh, you guys know what I mean. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, give this uh, video a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, you can find me on Twitch. Details are in the comments below. Uh, where I stream Fishing Planet always twice a week. Monday is my regular day for Fishing Planet. Starting at 8pm GBMT plus 1. Also got some giveaways from time to time as well. During my stream. So make sure to join. Uh, feel free to say hi in the chat when I'm live. I always like to interact with you guys and as well You can of course leave comments below this video. I will reply to those as well Well with that being said guys, uh, I hope to see you next time in the next video again and until then tight lines. Bye. Bye everybody